morning, kids. Ryan, are you ready for your first day of middle school? Yeah, but I'm really nervous. I mean, what if I get lost? What if the work is too hard or the teachers are mean? Jess told me it's a lot different than elementary school. Relax, Ryan. Like, I'll be there to help you. Jessica's right, honey. You'll be fine. No need to be nervous. I'm sure you'll have a lot of nice teachers. Like, if you need help, you can come find me. Or you can, like, ask a teacher for help. I hope my friends are in my classes. Even if they're not, I'm sure the kids in your class will be very nice. Yeah, Rye. Like, maybe you'll make some new friends. Wish me luck, Daisy. It's my first day of middle school today. Okay, kids. Breakfast is ready. Now eat up. You don't want to miss the bus. What bus are we on, Jess? Bus number 12. I'll try to remember that. We like better hurry up, Rye. The bus is going to be here in like 15 minutes. Okay, Jess. Come on, Ryan. The bus is here. Okay, I'm coming. Well, this is it. You'll be fine, Ryan. Like, how many times do I have to tell you? Hey, Ryan, over here! <gasps> Chris! Hey, man, can't believe we're in middle school already. Yeah, man, I hope we have classes together. Me too, bro. Hey, at least we'll have lunch together. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Hey, kids, are you ready for your first day of school? No, Genevieve, I'm really nervous. Oh my gosh, Genevieve. Ryan, like, won't stop talking about how nervous he is. Like, how is Chris feeling about the whole thing? Is he nervous? Oh, honey. He's been telling me nonstop how nervous he is. Yeah, like, it's a scary transition. But, like, he'll get used to it. I love your shoes, by the way. Oh, thank you. I still can't believe my baby is entering middle school. It feels like just yesterday I was holding him in my arms. Mom! So where do we get our schedules? You like go to the main office and tell them your name. Since you guys are new, you can follow me. Now come on, let's go. We like still need to get our schedules and find our first class. Bye kids, have a good first day of school. Tell your mom I said hi. Ryan, buddy. You're so lucky to have your older sister here to help you. I have to navigate this all on my own, bro. I'm so nervous. Like, you guys will be fine. You'll get used to it. Hi, we're Jessica and Ryan Baldwin. We're here to get our schedules. Okay. Baldwin, Baldwin. Oh, here they are. Here's your schedules. Thank you. Hi, my name is Chris Brooks. Christopher Brooks. You're right here. So, Ryan, like, where's your locker? It says A47. I don't know what that means. So, like, it's the 47th locker on the second floor. So, you have to take the stairs. The lockers are numbered, so, like, you should be able to find it. But what do A and B mean? I'm so confused. A and B stand for, like, the second and third floor. Like, a stands for the second floor, and B the third floor. You got that? Yeah, I think so. Well, I've got to go find my locker and, like, get to my first class. Good luck, boys. Hey, Ryan, I got locker A50. Our lockers are right near each other. Awesome. Let's walk to our lockers together. So Jess said to take the stairs. Hi, Jess. Olivia! Maddie! Hi, Jessica. How was your summer? My summer was great, Miss Ortiz. Thank you for asking. I can't wait to hear all about it. Like, this is great. The three of us in class together with, like, our favorite cheer coach as our teacher? This year is gonna be great. And only, like, one more year left of middle school. I know, right? We're gonna, like, be in high school next year. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and find our seats so we can get started. Olivia, let's sit next to each other. Hey, Jess, today is Ryan's first day here, right? 
Yes, Liv. He's been, like, so nervous. He, like, won't stop talking about it. Don't worry, Jess. It's all a part of being new. He'll get used to it. I, like, keep telling him that. Like, remember how nervous we were when we were just starting out? And, like, we turned out fine. So will he. You're right, guys. Well, I've got to get to class. I'll see you around, man. Okay, first period I have social studies in room A7. Here's A2 through A5. Over there is A1. Let me try going through this door. A6. A7. Hi, Ryan. Matt, you're in this class too? Yeah, man. This is awesome. I, at least I have one friend in my classes. Hey guys, Sean, are you in this class too? Yeah, I'm so happy you guys are in my class. Me too, bro. Me too. You three, sit down. Okay. Uh-uh, no hats allowed. Take the hat off. Okay, jeez. Dude, she's not very nice. Oh no. This is exactly what I was nervous about. Okay, kids. My name is Miss Jones. I'm going to be your social studies teacher. Now, we're going to start off by laying down some rules, so you all better pay attention, especially if you want to pass my class. Now, first rule, no hats, as I already said to you, young man. Second rule, no gum. If you're chewing gum right now, spit it out. I don't think anyone's chewing gum, Miss Jones. Well, good, because I don't permit it. Third rule, absolutely no eating in my class. But what if I get hungry? Well, too bad. You can wait until after my class is over. Jeez, I hate her so much already. Glad that's over. I know, man, I hate her. Me too, bro, she's the worst. And we have to put up with that witch all year? Apparently so. Well, I've got to get to my next class. I'll see you guys at lunch. I really hope our next teacher is better. Yeah, man. Now, where do we go? Is today an A day or a B day? I don't know, man. Maybe an A day since today is the first day of school? The letter A comes before B, doesn't it? Yeah, man, but this is all too confusing. Hi, Ryan. Hey, Brianna, can you help us? Sure, what do you need help with? We don't know where to go. Yeah, we're lost. Let me see your schedule. Okay, it says you're supposed to go to chorus. You go to the music room, which is like right there. Thank you, so today's an A day? Yes, like the first day of school is always an A day. So basically, you alternate between A and B days, like, every other day. I think we've got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Or of course, too, Rye. Let's go. Now this is gonna be a fun class. Singing. Hello, students. Welcome to Chorus. I'm Mr. Nunez, the music teacher. And this is going to be a class all about singing. Now, have any of you sang before? No, but I've, like, always wanted to learn. Me too. Well, why don't we practice right now? Okay, kids, repeat after me. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now you guys try. Do, do re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Great job, kids. Now those are basic notes. Can you guys try that again for me? You guys sound great. If we keep this up, you guys will sound amazing. Hey, Ryan, over here. Are you in this class too, Chris? Yeah, we have a class together. Oh, right. Hi, I'm Jordan. What are your names? I'm Chris. I'm Ryan. This is Robert. Hey, dudes. Hey. hey. Hi kids, welcome to 6th grade science. I'm Mrs. Thorne. I'm the kind of teacher who wants to get you kids excited about learning. 
We're going to do all kinds of fun science experiments in here that I think you kids will enjoy. Cool! This is going to be so fun. Yeah, and Miss Thorne seems so nice. Since it's your first day in my class, let me tell you a little bit about myself. First fact about me is, this is actually my 20th year teaching, and my 12th at Brindleton. Whoa, that's a long time. Yes, it is a long time, but you can say I've still got pep in me. I'm also a huge baseball fan. My favorite team is the New York Yankees. And your table mate will be your year-long lab partner. In my class, you and your table mate will be working together on science experiments. And you'll also be science fair partners in the spring. Yay, we're going to be lab partners. I'm like so happy we're going to be partners, Bree. Like, this is going to be fun. Hey, I wonder how Ryan's doing. It's his first day. Oh, I saw him in the hallway today, Jess. He like had trouble finding his second period class. Well, like, did he find it? Do you know? Yeah, Jess, I helped him. You're such a great friend, Bree. Thank you. So, Rye, who do you have? Let's see. I have Miss Thorne for science, Mr. Nunez for chorus, both very nice teachers. My social studies teacher, Miss Jones, is the worst teacher ever. Yeah, right? Isn't she awful? I hate her. Yeah, she's so mean. She has this rule where we're not allowed to eat in class, yet she herself weighs about 500 pounds. Yeah, she's fat. So are you, Sean. Shut up, Kaden. Which class do you have after this, Ryan? It looks like math with Miss Allen. Hey, me too, bro. Same here. The three of us can walk to class together. I have social studies next with Miss Jones. Ugh, that's horrible. I feel so bad for you, Chris. Yeah, man. Just try not to get on her bad side. This is it. Miss Allen's classroom. And it's right by my locker. Convenient. Hello, boys. You can go ahead and find a seat. I'm good at math, so I'm looking forward to this. I'm not. This is gonna be hard. Isn't math your weakest subject? Yeah, Kaden. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, let's get started. Hi, kids. My name is Miss Allen, and I'm super excited to meet you all and hear all about you guys' summers. But first, let's take attendance. Let's see, uh... Luke. Here. Let's see who else. Ashley. Here. Morgan. Here. Elena. Here. Caden. Here. And Ryan. Here. Whoa, 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 wait. Ryan? Ryan Baldwin? Wait a minute. Are you Jessica's brother? Yeah, how do you know that? Of course I know. Your last name is Baldwin, plus you look just like your sister. I had her in sixth grade too, and I'm also her cheer coach. Okay. Now, let me tell you kids a little bit about myself. This is my ninth year teaching. I graduated from the University of Phoenix. I've been married to my husband Connor for seven years now, and we have two sons, Jackson and Dylan. Jackson is six and in first grade, and Dylan is four and in preschool. We also have a yellow lab, Charlie, and a cat, Hunter. I'm also a cheer coach here at Brindleton. I co-coach with Miss Ortiz. One thing we're definitely going to go over in my class is fractions. You kids have got to learn those. Finally, the last class of the day. I can't believe how many classes we have together. Yeah, bro. This year's gonna be awesome. Hey, kids. Whoa, our teacher is an old man. He doesn't look that old. He's probably in his 50s. The real question is, can he actually teach? <laughs> okay, kids. Settle down, settle down. Okay, welcome to Language Arts. I'm Mr. Morris, your teacher. If at any point you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm here to help if you need me. I have a question. How old are you? Very, very old. 
anyone have any questions about my class? I have one. What books will we be reading? Good question. I think we're going to read Holes, Hatchet, The Hunger Games, books like that. Now, here are some facts about me. Number one, I've been teaching here for the past 20-something years, so I've been teaching here a long time. I also love the Knicks. They're my favorite basketball team. I love the Knicks too, Mr. Morris. By any chance, do you know when basketball tryouts are? Yeah, my friends and I love basketball and we want to join the team. They should announce everything next week. They want you kids to settle in first before joining any extracurricular activities. And you know you have to pass all of your classes, including mine, to be in sports, right? I guess that's logical. Yeah. Mom, we're home! Hi, Daisy! Hey, kids. How was your first day of school? Like, it was good. My science teacher, Mr. Perez, is, like, so hot. I have Perez, too, Jess. I agree, he is a hottie. Genevieve says hi, by the way, Mom. Aw, that's nice. I love Genevieve. She's so sweet. I, like, can't believe Miss Ortiz is our language arts teacher. I know, right? Like, in addition to being our cheer coach? Miss Ortiz is, like, one of the nicest teachers in the whole school. She's, like, one of my favorites. Oh, hi, Olivia. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Angela. Hey, Ange. Ryan, how did your first day go? Did you manage to find all of your classes okay? Yeah, I guess. Navigating a new school is hard, Mom. The whole thing with A and B days is so confusing. I had to ask for help. You're new, right? It's like perfectly normal to ask for help. What's your favorite class, Ryan? Maybe science. I also really like chorus. Now tell me about your day. Do you have any nice teachers? Yeah, I really like my language arts teacher, Mr. Morris. He's pretty nice. And so is my science teacher, Miss Thorne. I hate my social studies teacher, Miss Jones. She's so mean. You have Miss Jones? Ew! Yeah, she's like the worst. Everyone hates her. And she hates kids. Like, I don't get it. If you hate kids, then why are you a teacher? This year is gonna suck. I hate middle school already. Like, how do you know that you hate it? Yeah, you've only been there one day. Oh, Ryan. Miss Allen came up to me today in the hallway. She, like, told me you're in her class. Yeah, I have her for math. Ugh, I hate Miss Allen. Yeah, she's, like, so mean. And the worst cheer coach ever. Yeah, she's, like, very strict. She'll, like, point out every little detail. Like, if you don't land your back handspring perfectly. So annoying. I can't even do a back handspring. I, like, can't tumble at all. Like, all I can do is a handstand or a cartwheel. Liv, you're, like, especially lucky because you have previous dance experience. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Although I'm more of a flyer than a tumbler. I, like, used to do both dance and gymnastics when I was little, but, like, I was never really good at either of them. Jess, remember when we used to do dance together? We were so adorable. Yes, I do, Liv. Like, those were the days. Well, I'm gonna go play Fortnite. Of course, as soon as Ryan gets home, he, like, goes straight for his Xbox. Wait, do you kids have any homework? No, Mom. It's the first day. You don't get homework on the first day. No homework for me, either. I don't have homework, but, like, I've gotta get home so I can get ready to go to dance later. Yeah, that's right, you have dance. Hey, you guys wanna take a walk to Starbucks? Yeah, I could go for a drink. Me too, let's go. Have fun, girls.